Everyone in India says that IIC Bangalore is the best research institute. But is it actually true? What if I told you that there are institutes that are better than IIC in um, placements, better infrastructure or more chill course load? Is it true? Is there any institute which is better than IIC? So stay with me till the end because the truth might surprise you. So we are going to compare the institutes, top research institutes in India on five major factors. Courses offered and curriculum, research quality and output, faculty and international collaborations, peer groups and campus life, and lastly, placements and higher studies. So hello everyone, my name is Samir Rakash, alumnus of Nizer Bhubaneswar. And in this video, the research institutes I'm going to talk about are IC of course, ISERS and Nizer, ISCS, CMI, Chennai Mathematical Institutes, and TIFR Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. So let's start with our first criterion, which is courses offered and curriculum. So ISC Bangalore, no doubt, has the best combination of the courses that are offered anywhere in India. Especially what matters more is the flexibility that it offers to the students. And the best part is that you have the opportunity in ISC to choose your subjects or your research domain early on in your academics or career. Just similar to ISERS and NISER, they are also catching up with the course structure and uh, flexibility, especially in subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology. Now coming to TIFR, it does not offer undergraduate courses. It offers integrated PhD courses and doctoral programs, which again are mostly focused in physics and mathematics and very intense and focused. Now we have CMI, which is Chennai Mathematical Institute. It offers undergraduate and postgraduate courses, mostly in mathematics and computer science. So overall, if you can see in terms of flexibility and best combination of courses, ISC is the winner in this criterion. Now, criteria number two, which is research quality and output. ISC, no doubt, has the most citations in any university, right? It even has most number of citations per faculty. So ISC Bangalore actually tops the global list in this criteria. ISERS and NISER also have great faculty, they have great research groups, but they are still catching up in some aspects with the research quality, research outputs, and what they are going to produce. CMI on the other hand is very top notch in terms of faculty and research qualities in mathematics and computer science. TIFR, that Institute of Fundamental Research, on the other hand, is mostly focused and very selective with the research output that the research groups working on over there produce. That's why overall, if we see here as well, ISC Bangalore comes out as the winner, obviously due to most number of citations per faculty and the highest standard of research quality produced across not just India, but world as well. Now the third category is international collaborations and faculty. So ISC Bangalore, if you see, they are full of faculty who are global PhDs and lead world-class research groups. ISERTS and NISERTS, if you can see, they also have professors who are sometimes very young and bright and very dynamic. And they have also done very good research work and leading the top notch research groups across India. TIFR does the same thing as ISC Bangalore, but mostly in physics and mathematics. CMI does the same thing in computer science and mathematics. So overall, again, if you see, also because being a very old institute and uh, having more funding and international collaborations with institutes like MIT, Harvard, European Union Labs, ISC comes out ahead of all the colleges such as uh, ISER, SNISER, TIFR, IACS and CMI. Now our fourth criterion is campus life and peer group. So ISC no doubt has a very huge student community and a very famous student fest called Pravega. So no wonder IC is going to have a mix of both academic rigor and vibrant campus life. ISERS and NISER on the other hand, they also have a very beautiful campus across different locations. They also have good peer groups organize fests of their own. But again, due to uh, the vibrant culture and more funding, to IIC Bangalore, it comes out ahead of these institutes. TIFR and CMI, on the other hand, they are comparatively shorter and have more focused and um, intense peer groups who are actually working towards different sort of things. So IIC in this category as well is the winner. Number five, salaries 
placements and higher studies. So IIC, uh, since having collaborations with multiple top-notch international institutes like MIT, Harvard, Stanford, EU labs, their students very easily get into these institutes for either masters, PhDs or other research positions. Many of those students also end up going to companies like Google, Nvidia, Microsoft, etc. in different positions such as software engineering, machine learning, data science, and etc. So ISC definitely has very good opportunities for placements and other positions in higher studies. IZERTS and NIZERT on the other hand are coming up and catching up with placement facilities, infrastructures and more international collaborations. But still, uh, the students from IZERTS and NIZERT end up having top uh, research positions across the world as well. Although not as frequent as ISC Bangalore, but yes, they do. CMI and TIFR on the other hand are at par with ISC in terms of uh, research positions, you know, outside India and placements as well. But again, they are comparatively shorter and more focused and intense. So ISC having overall uh, a very huge student community support from the government in terms of funding and uh, other exposure, having a lot of international collaborations, being very reputed and old institute, it comes out as the winner in this category as well. So as we can see, uh, now we have discussed a bit about all these research institutes in all these categories and see who is the winner. So IIC of course, overall uh, is the winner. So um, if someone asks ask this question that is there any institute better than uh, IIC in terms of some subject experiences or any particular research field? Well, yes, but overall flexibility, um, you know, uh, prospectives for research positions after college and um, having interdisciplinary approach to research. All these make ISC Bangalore the best in India and one of the best across the world as well. So I hope that this sort of a comparison made some sense and will help you out in taking decision if you have offers from uh, multiple research colleges at the same time including ISC Bangalore. Right. So share this video with someone who wants to know more about ISC Bangalore and other research institutes and want to see a comparison. If you like this video, definitely hit the, the like button and the subscribe to the channel. And if you're preparing for IAT and NEST exams, don't worry, SciStar got you covered. You can uh, take help from all the resources that we offer right on this SciStar app. So make use of all the resources available. Get into your dream research colleges, be it ISC or anywhere else, because it does not matter where you go. What matters most is what you make out of what's available, right? So with that, hope uh, it was fun talking to you and see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.